Hello mathematicians, puzzlers, and other curious people. In this video, we're going to take a look at using a piecewise definition of the absolute value function. So here's that piecewise definition. Now a piecewise function just means that it's a function that follows different formulas in different subdomains of the function. So here we see that the absolute value of x is just the same as x for all values of x which are greater than 0. So that looks like this right here, good old identity function. Very easy to graph. Then there's another formula though. The absolute value of x looks like negative x for all values of x which are less than 0. So that looks like this function right here, allowing for sketching error. But here's the question. If we try to throw some, uh, some vertical line test on this, we've got a problem. We can see that we're going through in two places, but that's because this drawing here with two functions drawn in it isn't our final answer for our graph of the absolute value of x. What we have to do is only consider each of these formulas for the right values of x. So starting with for all values of x that are less than zero, I see we need to follow the blue line like so. And again, allowing a little bit for variability of sketching. And then I see that we get to zero, so we need to change what we're doing. So when x is greater than or equal to zero, we follow the red line. From there, we can erase the two we don't need. And there we have a graph of the absolute value function. So that's all there is to drawing, uh, to, to drawing graphs of piecewise functions. You just have to keep track of which subdomain you're in, and as a result of which subdomain you're in, which formula you should be paying attention to. So for now, I am going to say calculator.